I've just found a way to generate consistent characters with a single image. Yes, you heard that right. Up until now, we've needed to train our own model or Laura with a bunch of images, or use Flux Pool ID on Hug and Face, which would give you plastic and unrealistic results. Well, thanks to OpenArt's new feature, you can generate consistent and realistic images from one image. And if you're a comfy UI person, I found a way to generate a Laura from one single image and to download the Laura to use locally. Now check the timestamps, as I would be showing two different methods, one for easy consistency from one image and another for training a Laura with one image. Let's get started. Don't forget to like the video. You'll enjoy this. Okay, so firstly, this stage is very important. We need to generate the face. Now, not only are we gonna just generate any face, we need a close-up portrait because it works best. And this is very important, so stay tuned. Just open up ChatGPT, then simply tell it to write or give us a well-detailed prompt to generate a close-up portrait. Then add in text only. Then you can specify the amount of characters. Then you press enter and let it cook. Now let's go ahead and generate the face, which we'll use for consistency. Just go back here, then I want you to open OpenArt. Of course, you can skip this step if you already have a face at hand. I prefer OpenArt because, as you can see, the UI is more user-friendly. So let's first of all generate the face for that. Just click on create image. Then you should be presented with this and you'll see that it is super fast and the resolution is top notch. So you can go here to the prompt box and simply paste that in. You can enhance the prompt, but that won't be necessary now. Then go here where it says model. And as you can see, they've got a whole lot of models here, but as you all know, the best to use is Flux Dev or maybe we'll use Flux Realism. Then you can scroll down, you can use image to image, you can go to more settings, you can set the prompt adherence, maybe we can take it to four. Then under advanced settings, you can choose the amount of steps, take it to 30. Now everything I'm doing here is for the best result, so make sure to follow it. Then under aspect ratio, you can choose square, the number of images. Since we want a variety, we'll choose four. And you can turn on turbo if you like, it is turned on. And then you can click on create, and let's see how it cooks. And boy, oh boy. You can see how super realistic it is. Now for this case, it's best you don't choose a photo of when she's smiling. Just choose something more natural like this, click on it. Then it's best we upscale it. Go here and choose the upscale mode. We'll choose 4X plus face, then click on upscale. If you want a little bit of variation, you can choose variations here, but we don't want that. So we'll just upscale. Now it is done. You can see it's much better. Then you can download it. Now let's go ahead and let me show you a wonderful way to generate ultra realistic images and consistent characters with this. For that, I want you to just go back to the homepage. Then as you can see, OpenArt has released this wonderful new feature, which is in beta testing called Characters. If you click on it, it takes you here. Uh, as you can see, this is one that I've already created. Let me show you how it works. We can go here to my characters. I'll just click on create. Then, as you can see, it has tagged the character. So after the character tagging, write the prompt that you want the character to do. And you can even add negative prompts, but let's just leave it there, then click on Create. Now boy, oh boy, as you can see, the three images it did are all consistent. Just look at this, very realistic. Unlike the usual plastic flux generations we get, and as you can see, it's all consistent, which is wonderful. So now let me show you how to create your own. So go back here to Open Arts, go here to Characters, then simply click on start with one image. Then just choose the name, then you can now add your reference image. Now that it's done, all you need to do is click on create character and it will start cooking. So, okay, so now it is done and just click on done. Then it has been added to my character list and we can go here and click on create. And now it should take us here. And as you can see, it has tagged the character for us but ideally where it says character, just click on it. And you can also select your previous characters as well. So you can just go back here. We can select the weights, but we'll leave it at that since that is the recommended weight. Then let's type in a prompt. We can enhance the prompt. Then you can add some negative prompts. Then you can come here. This is the prompt adherence. We'll leave it at four. You can, you can select prompt enhanced mode, but we'll leave it turned off. Then you can choose whether you want a seed or not. Of course, we'll turn on the seed. Then you can just type in anything like this, like a random number you can remember. Then you can upscale the output directly. We'll first of all go with 2x. Then we select face enhance. Then we will create now. As you can see, it did a wonderful job here. Then let's try multiple images for that. We just turn this off, then we leave all of this. Let's just remove the negative prompt for now and then change up the prompt a little bit and then click on generate. And now look at this, as you can see, 
It has done a wonderful job when it comes to consistency. Now I can't show you the other ones because they're a little bit inappropriate for YouTube. So I'll try and specify their clothing. And now look at this. And as you can see, it got it perfectly. Don't forget that this is just from one image. And yet it's able to produce this type of results and this level of consistency. And you can always go here, choose the upscale method that you want, and you should be good to go. So now what about those that still wanna train their LoRa from one image? So let me show you that now. Now a massive disclaimer here, this method was gotten from this guy on YouTube. He's is very good with AI as well, and his video here really explains it all. Um, I just wanna show this method to my own audience. So now personally, how we are going to train Alora with one image is simple. I want you to pick any of these images that at least shows her body. So something like maybe this, and then this is for those that don't wanna use the characters feature and just wanna train their own personal Laura. Then this image in particular, I want you to take it to any video generator that you know. So for me personally, I would choose seller, pick AI, just upload the image. So we have uploaded the image. They added a new feature for audio, but we'll just turn that off. Now for the prompt, type in something like this in order to get her to turn around. Then you can leave magic prompt on and then click on generate. Okay, so now it is done. Um, you can just play it. And yeah, this is exactly what you need you to train our Laura. So just download it. So now I did a second one and we can download it. So we will use the tool to train our Laura. So how do we go about it? Well, simply create a new tab and then search for isgif video to PNG. Click on it, then simply upload your video file. Then down here, you can choose the FPS. You can choose maybe 20, then convert to PNG, or rather scroll up and go to video to GIF, then go to video to PNG, then upload it. Then for this, I just used one of the post videos. Then you can click on convert to PNG. Now it is done. Now this was the one where we didn't add any prompts. We just needed a consistency of face. You can just download this one. Then I want you to scroll down to where she shifts her head a little bit. So something like this one, just save it. This one as well, something like this. Then if it begins to look a little bit to the same, you can bring up the other video, which is why you can have multiple videos for this. So I'm just uploading the second video where she actually turns around. So yeah, I've gotten the one where she turns around, then you can go ahead and convert it to PNG. It is done. And for the most part, we have the same set of images that we got last time. However, at the end, you can see something like this. We have her side face, which we need to save. Then we will have one where she turns around even more. As you can see, some of them might be blurry, but you can take it to an upscaler. You can have something like this. Again, something like this. Just to really understand the body, then something like this. And as you can see from here, we have successfully gotten multiple images that we can use to train Alora. And for the comfy UI guys, you can train the Alora, download it and take it to comfy. Let me show you how. So you can just go to open arts, go here to models, then you can train your own model, click on it. So then you should be here. This is the one I've trained previously. Then you can choose what type of Alora you wanna train, maybe a facial Alora or character Alora. For this, we just choose the face. Then you can just give it a name. You then upload the image. Now, why I like open art is because you can train with as little as four images and it still gets it perfectly. But because we used multiple videos and got multiple images, we would train with that amount. But you can still train with as little as four. So here I've only got 10 images. Of course, normally you'd need to upscale all of them. Then you can upload and you should have your Laura ready. You can choose the amount of steps. We would just choose 1500 and then you can train the model. Okay, so using our Laura here with this particular prompt, these are some of the images we got from it. Consistent and realistic at that. And you could further upscale it. Okay, so since I know it's mostly comfy UI guys that would do this Laura training, you can also download your own model. Let's go back here to my models, hover over it, and then click on download model. And you can take it to your local workflow. So yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI content like this.